Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to download Windows hotfixes to slipstream into your Windows install. I've previously done a tutorial using WSUS Offline. This is an alternative way to do this. Use an alternative program. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and download that program. So we open up our browser and it's called WH Downloader. It's Windows hotfix downloader and the current version at the time of creating this video was 2.2. The URL is www.majorgeeks.com slash files slash details slash windows underscore hotfix underscore downloader dot html. I'll make sure that link is in the description below. Once it's been downloaded, it will go into your downloads folder. As you can see, I've got it here, so I'll delete it because it's already extracted. But there is the actual file once it's downloaded, it's called WH downloader underscore 0.0.2.2.zip. We want to right click on that and extract to WH downloader underscore 0.0.2.2. Once we do that, it will create a folder as you can see down below and we enter that folder. All that's inside it is an executable in a readme file. Double click on executable and this will open it up. User account control kicks in and asks you if you're okay to run the application if you trust it. Obviously the answer is yes because we did double click it, so click yes. Here we are at the main WH Downloader user interface. First thing you have to do is click download the latest update list in this little arrow here and give it a moment to download the latest update lists. Now that the update lists have been downloaded we can use this drop down box to select which ones we require. I'm using a Windows 10 64 bit system so I can click Windows 10 64 bit and it gives me a list of all the available updates. The simplest way to get them all is to right click and select all and do the same under the extra updates section. Once you've done that, simply click on download and wait for the downloads to finish. I will speed this up in post because this can take some time. As you can see it's trying to download 3.81 gigabyte. As you can see, the progress bar has disappeared and all of our hotfixes have now been downloaded. If we go over here, into updates, Windows 10 x64, and there's my keybees under general and under the extra section that we chose earlier on. I'll show you how to slipstream this into your Windows build and your Windows ISO in an upcoming video. If you like this video, give it a like. If you disliked this video, give it a dislike too. For your feedback in this or any other videos, or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. But most of all, thank you for watching.